So today I'm gonna to teach you how to make yarn out of all of those extra plastic bags. So we're looking at the cheapy plastic bags like Walmart, Kroger's, the dollar store. First, you wanna just flatten that bag out and you're gonna take a pair of scissors and cut that seam off at the bottom. As straight as you can, but we can straighten it up later. So just get rid of that seam and then go to the top and you wanna cut the handles off and create a parallel line from that bottom line that you already cut off. So now that you've cut the top and the bottom off, you're left with kind of a tube of plastic. Go ahead and flatten that out. And then you want to fold that plastic in half or almost in half so that up at the top, you can see I have about an inch of plastic where those two edges do not meet up. That's key to making these cuts so that the piece of yarn just keeps going. So go ahead and neaten up those side edges, cut off any extra there. So now you wanna put your scissors at the fold and cut all the way up through the first layer. So I've cut through the first layer, but I didn't go all the way to the second edge. Leave about a half an inch or so, and then you're gonna do the same thing all the way across your plastic bag, making sure that you never cut all the way through that second layer that's sticking up a little bit. That's what makes your yarn stay one continuous piece. And your the width isn't super important that it's really precise. You'll notice I didn't measure anything. I just kind of eyeballed it and your yarn could be a little skinnier or a little fatter depending on what you wanted to use it for. Okay, and now you wanna go ahead and unfold some of those layers. Just kind of pull them apart. And then you wanna kind of open up that whole, remember your plastic was kind of a tube? Go ahead and open it up. There's only one place now where it's connected. It kind of looks like a spine with vertebrae coming off of it. You want that plastic spine to be exposed so that you kind of have one layer that you can see. Just move those little strips and pieces, the other ones out of the way. So this next cut that you make is really important. It's what connects your yarn all the way around. And instead of becoming individual loops of plastic, one long continuous piece. You're gonna cut from one layer diagonally up, connecting it to the next layer. So in the first line, it just starts at the edge, and then at the next line, you go from one side up a layer, and it kind of looks like you're cutting diagonally. That's the key. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, make a cut or two, and then pull those pieces out and make sure that you've got that continuous string and not separate loops. He is to cut up to the next level, so you're just cutting around in a spiral. So when you're done with this, you're gonna have a big pile of this plastic yarn. Now you can choose to put it around a little piece of cardboard, like you're carting it to store it. You can wrap it up in a ball to keep it, but basically anything that you would use regular yarn for, you can use this plastic yarn for whether that's knitting or crocheting or different crafts like weaving or making pom-poms. And the best thing is it's totally free and everyone has these, a few of these stuffed somewhere in their house. So enjoy.